Good evening, and welcome to the American Cathedral in Paris. My name is Zach Valerie, and I'm the Canon for Music. It's my pleasure to welcome you this evening to our first Friday's virtual organ recital series. Tonight, we travel to Belgium, where Susan Carol Woodson will present tonight's recital. Hello, good evening, and welcome to the St. Nicholas Church in Brussels, Belgium. This is a mythic place. There's, there's been a chapel or a church of some kind in this particular spot since the 11th century, and this is renowned as the oldest church in Belgium, in Brussels, excuse me, maybe in Belgium, who knows. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's an important little spot, and through the centuries it's evolved. It's been transformed. You can see, if you visit the building, certain aspects of centuries gone by, especially from um, the, the 16th century on. But we've come to this modern day place and it's still here and uh, still very heavily um, visited and, uh, and uh, occupied on s Saturdays and Sundays. So it's a, it's a place worth noting. Um, I'm organist titulaire here. I've been here for several years and been very pleased to be a part of this community. It's a, it's a, a great place to be in the heart of Belgium. So I welcome you again. Nice to have you here. There's a, a varied program tonight, varied and yet not, three French composers, basically of the 19th century spirit. A couple of them lived into the 20th century. But still, that spirit lived on <laughs> from the Belle Epoque. So I welcome you and look forward to sharing this or instrument with you for the next 30 minutes or so. So before we start with the program, I just wanted to show the instrument and tell you a bit about it. Um, this, most of this instrument dates from um, 1893. This was an instrument built by Pierre Scheiven, a Belgian organ builder who was actually an apprentice with um, Joseph Merclin, when he had an atelier here in Brussels. When Merclin left, Schuyven established his own atelier and became one of the foremost organ builders here in Belgium. So we're very grateful that he did work here because it's, it's, a, it's a marvelous instrument that he left for us. So this, most of the pipe work would just, much of the material comes from the 19th century and Scheiven's work, but as you'll see, there's a, a modern console here that um, there was a renovation, a restoration of the organ in 1956 by another Belgian composed, um, um, organ builder, uh, Joseph uh, Stevens, who at that time, and it was um, just the, the, the pattern of the time to kind of make instruments more neoclassic, more conform to playing Baroque music and adding screaming mixtures and things like that, which is kind of what they did. All of Steven's work was kept, thank goodness, and then Steven's just added a few stops here and there. So we, there wasn't any damage done. And besides, we got a new console, which is nice to have, I, I suppose, although I really enjoy 19th century consoles. But this is, so this is from the 1956 era. Everything else is basically from Scheiven. Um, the organ went through 50 years of kind of being taken care of, but not exactly. So 50 years later, around the turn of the century, it was once again in dire need of restoration. It's a familiar story. So we, it took several years to get everything organized, but we finally in 2016, um, engaged um, Laurent Play, Pierre Adrien Play, and uh, Jean Baptiste uh, Gopia from France, from the Champagne Ardennes region. Actually, from Troyes is uh, where their atelier is. And they all worked wonders. They brought, this, they brought the organ from the ashes to a glorious renaissance. 
And um, that's the craftsmanship, the master builder of these, of these three who came to help us. Um, they recaptured the soul of the 19th century and um, it's a glorious instrument today. So I, in, that so give, gives you a little bit of background of what's going on here. And at the same time, I'm well aware that the American Cathedral is in the process of trying to organize things for the, the restoration there for the Cavalli Col. Bon courage. <laughs> it takes a lot of patience, a lot of prayer, and the right relationships, and of course the financial support, which I hope that is coming through little by little. And maybe just making people aware of what a precious instrument you have. Um, it's a piece of art. Of course it's an Anglican cathedral you have, of course you need the organ, but it's much more than that. So I'm sure you're all aware of that, so I don't need to lecture on it. But anyway, I, I very much appreciate uh, your struggles and I really hope the project takes off soon and that that organ will be restored by very good hands like we've had here. The first piece on the program tonight is uh, by Joseph Bonnet, Elf. This is one of my favorite pieces of his, although I love all of his music. And Joseph Bonnet, of course, uh, a prominent French composer, prolific, wrote so many beautiful pieces for the organ among other things. Um, his dates are 1884 to 1944. Of course, he was born in France and spent the early part of his life there. And if I understand correctly, he went off to the war in 1917, but didn't stay too long because of a health issue. So he was able to come back home. Thank goodness for that. And that, otherwise, we might not have his music. Who knows? Um, anyway, he, he finally immigrated to North America, which and he had a great influence in the United States, especially at the Eastman, Eastman School of Music in Rochester, New York. And then he ended his days on this earth in Canada. So here's this beautiful, poetic scene, piece, by Joseph Bonnet Elf.
was asked to um, relate my story about the American Cathedral to you. I arrived at the American Cathedral in late um, 1979, kind of by chance, and um, I very fortunately had the opportunity of working as organist choir master there in 1980 at the very beginning of the year. Um, I was at first replacing the organist at the time, Norman Pru, who was in the States for a, a sabbatical, and he was supposed to return in a few months. In fact, he didn't. So I stayed on officially until 1982 as organist choir master. Gave me some great experiences and um, a wonderful place to practice and a fantastic way to get to know some people that um, were just exceptional in every way. I, um, I appreciated my time there, enjoyed working with the choir, especially enjoyed playing the organ. And I, there are so many experiences that I could tell you about, but I was asked to tell about a couple of kind of strange ones. <laughs> there are many, but uh, I remember one day I was practicing it's right after Easter, probably, I guess, 1981 or something like that. And uh, people would visit and stand behind my back, and I'm wondering what's going on. And I turned around, and the man said, I'll give you $500 if you can play the Vidor Toccato for me. And I thought, okay. And had it in my fingers. That was the easiest $500 I've ever made. Wish that would happen more often. <laughs> then another day, probably about the same year, very quiet man, didn't move, was very attentive. I could just barely see him out of the corner of my eye. And then after whatever piece I was playing, I turned around and lo and behold, there's Billy Graham, <laughs> which I'm sure some of you don't know what, who he is, but the exceptional evangelist of the 20th century in the United States. Many other visits. Um, wonderful people that were always coming by, organ enthusiasts, just a curiosity, but it's a great place to be and I appreciate so much my time there. I did return to the cathedral um, for many summers afterwards and um, really enjoyed it. So the next piece on this program is the Danse Macabre of uh, Camille Saint-Saëns whose dates are 1835 to 1921. Most people know about Saint-Saëns of not only this organ transcription, but so many beautiful orchestral works, piano, many, many compositions worth getting to know. But this is one of his most famous, and certainly not, well, not known for an organ piece, since it's a transcription. It was originally a, a poem symphonique. And this transcription was done by Edwin Lemaire, um, also a composer worth getting to know. He, he wrote so many very, very well, well done transcriptions for organ, the Wagner opera, um, many other things that aren't easy to play. And this Danse Macabre being among those. And not only did um, Lemaire transcribe, he also has original compositions that are very worthwhile. Any organist should look into them. They're so much fun to play and, uh, and represent many, many styles for the instrument. In any case, here we are. Dans Macabre, Camille Saint-Saëns, transcribed by Edwin Lemaire.
third and final piece on the program tonight is the uh, Sortie en Mi bemol on E flat major by um, Louis Lefebure Vély, very flamboyant French composer. His dates were 1817 to 1869, and he wrote very, very many organ pieces that are so much fun to play for harmonium as well, piano, and other instruments. This probably being one of his most famous. It's often played because it's, it's a brilliant piece. It's, um, I think you could call it a crowd pleaser because it has a lot of little um, interesting chromatic scales and scale flourishes and just a, th um, a musical theme that the public enjoys hearing on such a wonderful instrument. So I hope you enjoy it. I certainly do enjoy playing it. And by the way, I do apologize. There's a bit of street noise tonight. It's a nice evening. We're in the center of Brussels, and we have street bands back and forth. So this gives you another flavor of St. Nicholas. Just imagine the mass on Sunday evening with various saxophones blaring in the background. <laughs> but don't worry. The organ always overcomes it. Hope you enjoy the, the sortie en mi bemol.
so that complete that concludes the program. I'm so glad that um, the American Cathedral reached out to me and um, asked me to share this particular place with you, the viewers and listeners. And it's certainly a real pleasure to take contact with the American Cathedral again. It's something I left a long time ago and I always missed it. So it's nice to kind of be back in touch with you. Thank you so much for this invitation. And thank you so much for your interest in this art organ here in St. Nicholas Church in Belgium. Come visit us sometime. A bientôt j'espère. Bye bye. Thank you once again for joining us this evening. Please join us again next month when James Goff will present our recital from London.